because he's so bold. He is the most bold and brash creature of all. If the dogs or the emus or even our ostrich runs up to him, he will simply just stand his ground and chase them in the other direction. He is not only thick and juicy from behind, but he is handsome and bold from the front. Big Arms was respected warrior in Maasai tribe and he helped us to win a water well. Rest and peace, Mr. Big Arms. This adorable little prairie dog that we rescued from a local pet shop that is going out of business. This little guy was morbidly obese because he was basically neglected and kept in a tiny little cage with seven other prairie dogs and a lot of food. Today is the first time that he's ever been able to run around and play in an area that is not a small two foot by two foot cage. But that's it you guys, these are our new prairie dogs. Go ahead and name them, they're really sweet. He tries to, be, you know, at first I thought he was gonna try and bite me, but he doesn't. He's really, really sweet and friendly. Uh, and I like to cuddle with them when I'm watching TV. I have decided upon a very good name for this adorable little man, my son, name of Big Ounce. His name will be Big Ounce because he weighs quite a few ounces. And much like the real Big Ounce, he's very handsome, adorable, and cute. Won't mind giving him a little kiss on the head. Well, for starters, Big Ounce saved my marriage in 05. But all right, guys, let's get into it. This is a creature feature. My mom said I have to do these so I can make educational content for you guys. Boring, but we're going to get into it. I believe this is the black-tailed prairie dog name of Cyanomus Ludovicianus. I had that memorized. It's very important that we let this little man get exercise because where he used to be, he was basically overfed and undernourished. Ain't no reason why a prairie dog should be this chonky in the wild. That's because he's lived the majority of his life in a tiny little two foot by two foot cage. Prior to today, Big Ounce hasn't seen this much space in his entire life. But it's interesting that he still comes back to old Uncle Ben to nibble on his boots. Big Ounce was one of the greatest American heroes of the last four generations. Big Ounce, wake up. We got a shark, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We got a shark. The fellow was just sleeping in here. Come on, Big Ounce. We got a shark. Wake up. Wow. Uh, what do you think, Big Ounce? It's a shark. We're going to feed Big Ounce this entire shark. Okay, now that Kyle tagged it, we're going to be putting it back, but we're going to let Big Ounce take one little bite. There you go, buddy. Wow, Big Ounce touched a shark. And B. Alt's gonna let this little fella go right back into the abyss. Oh, he's coming back! Quick, Big Ounce, catch him! There's a shark right here! Honestly, we have not had a guest as interesting as Big Ounce in a long time. Jamie, can you pull up that clip of Big Ounce fighting that bear? All right, everybody, I'm taking Big Ounce Ten to another vet checkup. He's doing very well, but he still has this giant mass coming out of his abdomen. But for the last four days, he's been just fine, even with the big old mass in his abdomen. So I think he's going to pull through, but we might just have to go ahead and get that removed. Okay, so it turns out Big Ounce has a tumor. Biggerton Ouncerton has cancer. I did not show you guys this before, but he's got a big old tumor tumor underneath his belly. And at first I thought it was actually a huge wound from his attack. You see that? That is not a poop. That is just a big old tumor hanging out. It turns out that that little tumor thing right there is in fact a cancerous tumor. Regardless though, this little boy is still adorable, healthy, and cute. And we're gonna keep praying for him over the next couple weeks until his surgery. This is what I do every day for Big Ounce's little treatment. 0.2 milliliters, uh, ever heard of it? Some kind of antibiotic, but this is for Big Ounce. Give this to him every 12 hours. Get over here, you stupid. Get it? Uh -huh. Okay, he just took it. Took it right in his mouth. He takes it like a champ. It's actually really cool. It doesn't seem to be getting any worse, and it actually looks like it's shrinking. So it is a nasty little disgusting tumor, but he's doing better. He still looks like he's healthy, and he hasn't become lethargic or anything like that at all. And his appetite's exactly the same. I honestly think that he just has testicular cancer. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, everyone, thank you for praying for Big Ounce back whenever he got his little tumor. There is now no sign of that at all anymore. Oh, that's just his little Peter. And this man has made a complete and full recovery, and I think that's completely because you guys all prayed back when that happened. Big Ounce was literally Grimace, Ohio, Skibbity Toilet, and Duke Dennis, did you pray today? Gat level three, Gat Riz. Oh, look at that little butt. Without my permission, sir. Give it here. Give it. You're far too fat to be eating all that food, sir. That's right, you guys. We got a tornado last night. It was bad. Today, I'm taking my morbidly obese prairie dog rescue for a walk. Release Big Ounce back into the wild.
Out here, he could run around and be a little wild prairie dog, and hopefully he'll lose some of this fat weight that he's got. Look how fat this man is. I'm sick and tired of this nasty Texas weather, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Florida tonight. Quick day trip. That's right, I'm going to Florida on a quick day trip, and I'm gonna be herping with Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife and Zach from Catch 'em All Fishing. Turns to the wild where he belongs. Look at that little head peeking up out of the grass. Any of you Romanian followers know what this fella's saying? I'm prairie dog. Foreign things are scary to me. Poke. How about you get on over here? Why is he? This man don't care about escaping. He just likes to crawl around and explore. All right, you're free now. Whoa, big ounce laid an egg? Look at this stupid man hanging out under there. I can't even get him. I like to let Big Ounce free range and explore when I'm working, let him eat some of the natural foliage and be a little wild prairie dog. And of course we have Big Ounce Boy here, who's getting very fat and handsome. He's been eating a lot of hay. I've been giving him a lot more hay, mostly Timothy. He likes to reach into my mouth and see what's in there. He thinks there's some kind of a treat in here. <laughs> Big Ounce Boy. Oh, that was, his... <laughs> that was his little greeting. One small step for Big Ounce, one giant leap for Capybara Prairie Dog Relations. Not gonna lie, going for the banana peel first was a cringe move, Big Al. Okay, this is their first interaction. Now he's just working on cleaning up the little bits of hay on the ground. Looks like he found a decent sized one. Now this old guy is gonna hop down because he hears him eating and he wants a little piece of that action. Look at this man just vibing. Now please enjoy this sped up video of Biggerton Ounserton eating a little piece of kale. And this footage was taken before our interns passed away. Look at this fat, fat I'm man. feeding him a lot more Timothy and lettuce so he trims down. The ounce is a little bit closer to the house. So when I want to bring this little man inside, I just open this thing up. <laughs> this is his morning greeting noise. <laughs> him kissing me with an open mouth is his way of socializing. Children have a little prairie dog. His name is Big Ounce. He just wants to follow me everywhere. I just started walking out and then he was like, please. Papa, please. My adorable children are just vibing in here per usual. They like to lay on top of each other in this corner. I'm gonna fix their water too. Oh, morning. <laughs> Good morning. He just wants to rub his face on my hands. This is the noise she's making with poggers. What is that? This is at large, walking around, trying to lose some weight again. Look how fat he is. Oh, it's Big Ounce doing way over there. Look at that massive lad. Look how absolutely rambunctious he is. Whoa, here he comes. Oh, they found it. Wow, you guys, we did it. Two million subscribers. Good morning, Biggerton Ounceerton. Wow, look at this morbidly obese man. There is not a creature more perfect than this man here. Wow. Look at this adorable baby boy. Okay, I'm gonna let him nibble on some grass for a second. Big Ounce has no regard for cringe ah uh, ah uh, dogs. Good morning to Polk. Here is your friend who doesn't seem to care too much for you. All right, Mr. Ounce. Big Ounce is just an adorable little friend. All he does is just eat and fart and make this face. Also, look at these weird yellow teeth. Thank you for being here, Big Ounce. You're a precious little man. Here, let me pick you up. But all the animals have been getting along really, really, really well. Big Ounce, give him a little person personal space, please. Give him a little personal space. Not everybody can greet each other with an open mouth kiss for the first time, Big Ounce. You're posting cringe. Stop. Oh, hello, little man. Would you like to try the peach as well, little cringe creature? Look how gentle he's being. Normally, he's real aggressive and angry. Go ahead, take that first bite. What do you, th oh, there it is. What do you think, Big Ounce? Eat, oh, eat that up. You dropped it. He dropped it. He didn't even eat it. Oh, everything's peaceful and well here over at Ounce Topia. As you can see, we have an adorable baby here sleeping. I don't know which one this is. I think it's <gasps> Biggerton Ouncerton. Wow. This is where he sleeps. He's perfect and handsome. A lot of you guys keep asking me, Uncle Ben, what's your daily routine? But every morning I wake up and I check on my adorable little prairie dog dens. Then Big Ounce and I greet poggers. And then I go on inside for breakfast. Typically, Big Ounce and I will dry scoop some whey protein with some milk. And I take Big Ounce and I toss them up in here and I leave them up there all day. Bye, Big Ounce. Looks like we're under the mistletoe. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll be honest. Some of the best ideas I had were directly from him. Big Ounce believed in me when no one else would. Today, we're going to be feeding a British person to my prairie dog. Skip it about and about I said, and I'll say it again, no using 4chan, okay? I mean, what can I say? He saved my life at least a dozen times.
Were it not for Big Ounce, I wouldn't be standing before you today. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm taking Biggerton Ounceerton to the gym. As you guys all know, Big Ounce is obviously a service animal. He's been uh, through three tours in Iraq, one in Afghanistan, and two in Vietnam. This alone qualifies him to be a service animal, so I'm taking him into the gym with me. Coincidentally, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for tips on what to do at the gym. So today, Big Ounce and I are going to be teaching you guys how to lift. Okay, guys, if I'm going to walk you through my routine first things first we need to get big out some pre-workout i like to give this little guy two to three scoops of this stuff to start out with and then we'll go from there here you go big out okay guys now that we got him his pre-workout he's pretty hyped up now i'm gonna go ahead and take him in the bathroom we'll get him some real supplements <laughs> uh, two tans one for me and one for my friend Everyone loves Biggerton. Okay guys, we made it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get Big Ounce a tan. I like to just put him in here for about three to four hours every day. It keeps his complexion nice and brown. Uh, ever since I started coming in here for Big Ounce, they put these little stools in here so I could sit down while I put him in here. We're gonna have him in there for about three, four hours. Don't forget to wipe it down after you're done using it. After that, I'll go ahead and get him a spray tan in case that that other one wasn't enough. See you guys in about three to four hours. I do this every day with Big Ounce. Next, we're gonna take him into the red light therapy. I'll see you guys in four to six hours. <laughs> Bye. After that, we'll get on the elliptical for about four to six more hours. Okay, now that we're done with that, we have a couple more hours in the day. I'm going to go ahead into this secret bathroom and take the rest of our supplement stack. This one locks from the outside. I don't know why. And then I'll head into a little John for my post-workout, and I'll see you guys in about another 20 to 40 minutes. Big Ounce actually teaches a spinning course, so I put them on here for the next uh, three to four hours. Now we'll go ahead and take our pump picks in the mirror. This is uh, the one with the best light. I'll just go ahead and do this for another three to four hours. I have to get the lighting just perfect. All you guys have been asking, what's your post-workout routine? And what are you eating, Uncle Ben? See, that's the big thing. 90% of bodybuilding happens in the kitchen, you guys. Big Ounce has about a full scoop of mass gainer after every workout. Half of this uh, for me. Big Ounce. Big Ounce was literally Grimace, Ohio, Skibbity Toilet, and Duke. Dennis, did you pray today? Gat Level 3, Gat Riz. Ass Pro Shops. Okay, guys, we're going to go in there. I'm going to have to put him in here, though. I think he needs to stay in here for the whole time. But I might be able to feed him to the fish that are in there. Now, it's very important that we pick a cast net that's big enough for Big Ounce to throw. And obviously, I've caught every fish in this pool, you guys. But I'm going to throw Big Ounce in there so he can grab me a bow fin so I can put it in my pod. Here we are, Big Ounce. The world is your oyster. Okay, guys, much like Sylvester Stallone in the hit show Tulsa, uh, we are going to be shaking down this Walmart to, uh, so they would give us 20% of their profits because we need a lot of money here at the Urban Rescue Ranch for these next few projects. So we're going to be going in and seeing if they'll be our business partners. In exchange, we're going to be offering them security. Now let's see if we can get a little fundraising done. <laughs> A lot of you guys don't know this. This is where they take you when you steal. They take you into this room over here. Uh-oh. First things first, we're gonna go to the electronics section. First things first. Our first devious lick from Walmart was this a beautiful little uh, 101 Bible bedtime story. And bring it back and read it to the baby prairie dogs when they're born. As you can see, somebody stole a little bit of dog around the ground here. That's free picking. That's our second devious lick. It's gonna be Big Ounce uh, enjoying a nice little kibble. That's right, Walmart. It's not my fault that you left all this delicious food free of charge here on the ground. All right, Big Ounce, enough sampling the local treats. Looks like Tank uh, lost Big Ounce. Uh, we might not be able to get him back, and honestly, you guys, we're probably just going to leave him here. Big Ounce, you're being a poorly cringe. We were supposed to rob this place, not live here. As you can see, Uncle Ben is deep down in the gutter. He's gone. We lost him. At the very end of that. Doesn't he look like Gene Simmons with that haircut? This nice lady at Walmart helped us catch him. Hey, we caught him. Crisis averted. Okay, thanks to the help of a nice lady, we were able to get him back in here. So now we can get back to do what we were supposed to be doing here, which is shaking this place down for all their rabbit food. So we're going to take some guinea pig food for the cappies. Okay, I'm going to scan this. And then I'm going to scan this. Uh-oh, we're compromised. We're compromised. They called the cops. Okay, guys, we did it. We got the epic food bin. We got ta a Tank, his very first Canada Dry Soda. Turns out the schmuck's working at the Walmart at 10 p.m. 
p.m. and on Monday don't have any uh, say in where the profit goes. Do you forgive me for taking you away from dog food paradise, Big Ounce? Okay, Big Ounce, your turn. You're gonna have to eat your way out of there, sir. This is for trying to bite me earlier. Okay, guys, this is where Big Ounce lives now. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be able to squeeze through there because of how fat he is. Uh, we'll take a look. Go ahead, sir. Wow, he can't. He's too fat. Wow. Look at this little man. He's stuck. Well, I suppose it's Gordon, Quandale, and I sit here. Oh, no, he got out. All right, that's fine. Big Ounce says, please release me from this prison. Please, Father, I long for those fish. I mean, we was in the trenches, bullets flying left and right. Big Ounce came in and saved us like it was nothing. Oh, Big Ounce, no! Big Ounce, you ruined Grimace's birthday! Oh, sweet wampum, I sure do love Grimace shakes. Oh, no, Big Ounce! What? Big Ounce is immune to Grimace shake? Well, that's pretty nifty. I mean, I guess he did survive several world wars. Big Ounce taught me how to forgive and respect women again. Big Ounce loves you and appreciates you. Woohoo! How uh, we did that in unison. That's how you know we've been spending so much more time together. That moment when you Yahoo in unison with your son. All right, guys, love you, appreciate you again. We'll have some big updates for the Fox Enclosure in the next video. Don't forget to give Big Ounce a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Biberton. Have you been having fun out here, Biberton? Look, guys, his teeth are growing back. <laughs> Wow, his teeth for the most part are already back to normal and he's looking really healthy. No doubt, part of that's from him being able to run around here all day. Big Al saw the house and jumped out of my arms and started being an absolute rapscallion. <laughs> Thankfully, Big Ounce just graduated the Fire Academy, and here he is putting out the flames. He sure is a jack of all trades. You know, it's funny, Big Ounce actually introduced me to Sweet Baby Ray's. So guys, I'm gonna somehow turn all the clips from the last week into some kind of video for you all. So much has happened, and it's so hot here, and we've been getting so much done that Uncle Ben's going a little bit crazy. He turns into a little pancake when he gets really hot. This happens, I like to take a little ice cube and just put this on his back. This helps him cool down a little bit, see? You want to try the ice cube, Mr. Ounce? It's too hot for me to chew the ice cube. This boy's so hot that I'm just gonna rub some ice all over his neck. I know that boy was real hot outside. And he loves this. Look, you guys, put his head right on that ice cube. Precious little creature. That's crazy though. I'll be keeping this little guy inside from now on. I put it in here so he can have food and water. And just like whenever he had cancer, I'm gonna give him free range of the house until it gets a little bit cooler outside. Woohoo!